Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we are live, all right? And uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you how to register for your JAM 2023 exam and uh, seven critical mistakes to avoid when registering, all right? It's a blog post I've done here, so I'm going to be going through it, explaining to you, all right, how to register first. Then please watch the end, seven mistakes to avoid when registering. Mistakes a lot of students have made in the past and have been messaging, messaging me, those mistakes, how to avoid them. All right, I'm going to tell you in this video, uh, we're going to discuss in this video, and if you have your questions, you drop them in the comment section. All right, I'm going to reply you. Okay, before we go forward, please make sure you get the DTW Jam CBT app. Also on the app, I'm going to be showing you one very important component. All right, let me just quickly show you here. It's called, if you have the app, either on your phone or on your desktop, click on career, okay? On your desktop is in career and it's shown where you see find schools. But on your phone, you are gonna see school finder, okay? When you click here, it's gonna show you all the courses in all your university. When you click on it, it's gonna show you what subject combination, which is quite important. If for university, polytechnic, college of education, depends on which one you are trying to, you know, you are trying to, you're looking for. Okay, so you all you need to do is just click on find. It shows you all the schools offering accountancy, accounting. Okay, and this app shows you the competitiveness if to fill this school and the requirement. Competitiveness means as several people are applying, we have all these databases and what score you should target. You can see here, this is for University of Illinois, it's a very competitive course in this school. You have to have 300, uh, between 269 and 324 for your chance, chances of gaining admission. Apart from this, your jam score, also your WIAC, you should have A's, okay? So uh, it will show you this, hold on, wait, hold on. I think this is competitiveness. You can go through and read, you know, this is not the main thing I'm, I'm really doing. Then it will show you the subject combination here. That's on the jam CBT app. It will show you every information about the school. Catchment area. I'm going to explain this catchment area. Very important. Whichever school you are feeling, it's very important. I'm going to explain to, explain it to you. So please make sure you stay to the end of this video. Okay? So everything, it's on the app. Beautiful thing. Okay? And it's going to show you, if you are confused on what your career is, if there's a career guide section. You type in a course. Let's say for instance, uh, computer engineering, okay? You can see this. It tells you everything about the course, the skills you should have. Employment opportunities. Almost all companies need someone that's an ICT person. It tells you that. Uh, let's see, um, which other, let me just, which other course, random course? Um, nursing? Nursing science. Okay, let's see this nutrition and uh, the aesthetics. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm not pronouncing. I think nutrition. Let me just call it nutrition here. All right. So here it says here. Uh, we have to refresh this. Was it refreshed yet? Okay. Yeah. Skills you should have. Interest in scientific aspects of food. Employment opportunities. These are the places you can work. So it's like you are confused about a particular course. This particular part, career guide, would help you find that. All right? If you want to know about schools and subject combination, you also come here on the app. Wonderful app that helps you, you know, in career guidance. All right? So please make sure you use this when you're looking for your subject combination. It has for all the courses. You can see A to if when I scroll down here, all the courses. Just click on it. Zoology. It will show you the universities offering zoology. Look at the universities offering zoology here. You click. You know, you you check. Which do you want to do you want to attend? Are you getting me? You check the competitiveness. You check the requirements and click them. In the in the requirements, you check on the cat, uh, catchment area. Do you fall under um, that particular state? Don't worry. Let me. I'm going to explain that in details. Okay. So I just said I should show you this. It's going to help you apart from, you know, 
apart from the the uh, practice practice app it's here there's a utme challenge you can also get involved with and win fantastic prizes almost every weekend there's a dictionary for literature st students you can see here your literature book summary of all your literature books are here why not get the dtw tutorials app today okay it just costs two thousand naira. all right so now getting on to how to register for your jam 2023 examination now the first thing is you need to have an email account very critical please when you are registering, don't use another person's email um, address. It's very simple to create an email account. Just go to gmail.com, create it, and have a password. And please, please, I beg you, if you have a diary, a journal, or I don't know where you can save all these things up. Because I see people say, oh, um, that sat for jam last uh, last year. I want to do this year. They say, oh, I can't remember the password of my email. I can't even remember my email address. And it's, it's quite difficult for you to log in to your profile again. Okay? So when you create all these things, write them down somewhere. In a, a journal, you know, where you keep your certificates, those important documents, you keep them, keep it there. Write your address and the password. All right. So create that. Also go and make sure if you are not yet enrolled, your NIM, please quickly go now. Don't wait till Saturday. You know, registration starts 14th, which is Saturday. Don't wait till Saturday. Quickly go now. And in registering, please, you know, your name centers are around you. Please make sure your name, the name on your name matches that on all your academic documents that is your yx certificate are you getting me make sure it matches because if your yx certificate should not uh, conflict with your name and also conflict with your name that you used to uh, register on your jam okay you used to create you know your bio, bio data for your jam profile okay that will be uploaded during your bio data verification please make sure everything matches your name matches the name on your YEC. Please don't make that mistake. Please, please, please. When your parents are saying, oh, change this name, it should match with your YEC certificate. It should match with every document you have. To create the JAM profile, you know, it's quite easy. You know, send an SMS to this with your name, NIM, your name number, and, um, you know, the details are here. Okay? And make sure, please, use a phone number that has not been used by anybody else it's best also to use your own or if you don't have a phone you can use your mom phone make sure your mom's phone has not been used by either your brother either brother or anybody else for jam registration okay one phone number for one candidate all right and after when you do that 10 digits uh, of your profile code will be sent to you and this digit is what you take to the bank to buy your form all right students that have been asking me oh can i use uh, my last year profile code yes once you get a profile code it sticks to you even if you write it start you write jam how many no matter how many times that is your profile code that's why when you get your profile code make sure you write it down also um, students have been messaging me ma i forgot i forgot i don't the phone number i use i've um I, I used last year to register for jam i have misplaced it what can i do the profile code if you have the norm the profile code that you use for last year jam just take it and go to get your form it still sticks if you even go into your jam caps you see that that profile code sticks to your name no other person okay and if you regenerate it again under your same number, you still get that same profile code. Okay, so you can use the same phone number you used last year and the same profile code you generated last year. Okay, I hope I've answered, you know, there are a lot of questions under that profile code. I'm sure I've um, covered it. Okay, but if you have any other, you know, doubt or um, clarification you need, please make sure you drop a comment now it says here uh, number four is you proceed to buy your form as i said um we've not um i just said this is the last year price the the, con the confirmed price for this year i don't know yet but it shouldn't be i think jam are trying to it shouldn't be up to five thousand it shouldn't be up to five thousand or minimum maximum five thousand you pay for your jam 
form. So when you get this, you get your e-pin. Then you go straight to a cyber to no, no, not a cyber cafe, please. A registered CBT center. You always there's always one around your area. Go to a registered CBT center with your e-pin. Please, please do not go to a cyber cafe. And don't let anyone deceive you that they can do your registration offline. They'll just give you a paper. Are you getting me? Give you a paper. Say, oh, yeah, feel this, feel this. Don't worry. No, no, no. Sit down there when they are doing that registration for you. Are you getting me? When you are doing your go to your CBT center. They will attend to you. Okay, because you are going to pay. You pay a 700 uh, you know, service charge to the CBT center. You know, they'll first give you a form to fill in, in your details. And... When they type in all those details, use your email, your own password. Make sure you use your email there. Don't use the operator's email. No, your own email. That's why I say go create a Gmail account. Have an email address. So make sure you use your own email there. And before you click submit for your bio registration, you know, all these things you fill in. You can put in, if it's awaiting results, you put awaiting results. If you have your certificate, you can, you can upload them. Okay, before you click in, check everything, your state of origin, your nationality, check that it tallies, it matches with everything you wrote before you click submit. Okay? So they're going to take a lot of things, do capture, biometric, and all that. All right. And when you are done, a printout to be given to you. Okay. As evidence of registration. So that's you have. Now, coming to the mistakes to avoid when registering. I have seven mistakes for you. And I'm going to explain all this. Number one, asking someone to register for you. No, don't sit in the house and send somebody. Go there. I've emphasized it. Go there. Sit down in that CBT center and go through your details properly. Okay, number two, using another person's phone number. Please don't. I had someone that used someone's phone number, her friend's phone number. He said the profile code wasn't going on her phone. Uh, she now used, immediately she used her friend's phone number. It went immediately. And uh, when she wanted to take, that was in 2021, when she wanted to take jam in 2022, the friend, in fact, the friend wasn't even a close friend. It was just someone that she met in the CBT center there for registration. So before she put, and she didn't write her profile code somewhere, before she could trace that person, it was just by God's grace she got that person back and, you know, regenerated the profile code again on the person's phone number. So please don't make that mistake. Try on your phone number. If your phone number doesn't go, try your mom or your dad's phone number. Okay. Number three, inconsistency in your names. Very critical. I've explained this and i am emphasized this. Please. There should be no inc inconsistency in your YX certificate and also the name you use in during your jam registration. Using another person's email address and a wrong email address, please register yours. Wrong date of birth and local or uh, local government origin, please make sure your date of birth is correct. It matches with that in your name, in your YX certificate, and it should match in your jam. Every of your, you know, identification documents must match please now coming to six and seven which i would really stress here now six is not choosing the right university that for you this is one of the mistakes now what's the first meaning the meaning of catch catchment okay like i think when we went through that um, school finder i think university of Illinois, it showed the catch uh, catchment states now every federal university uh serve some part some particular states we close to the university. Let's say, for instance, Unilag in Lagos. I think it serves Ekiti, it serves Oyo, it serves some uh, south southwest Yoruba states like uh, uh, I think five of them Ondo. It serves all those. So it means what it means. Catchment means is that your cutoff mark will be a bit lower. Okay, if you are from those states, your cutoff mark will be a bit lower. So you have higher chances to gain admission into those universities. Okay, within your state, you know your state of origin, where you are from. For instance, you are from Anambra. Definitely, it would be more favorable for you to fill in UNISIC or UNN. Are you getting my point? Because it would cover, the, there's a catchment there for you. Your cut of mark would be a bit lower. That university is serving your states. 
So please, when you're choosing university, choose one, consider where you are from, all right? And choose a university that has your catch up, catchment what area in focus. Now, location also, location, that's, do you want to go out of the west or uh, well, southwest? Do you want to be in the east? Do you want to be in the north? You also have to consider that when choosing your university. Now, cost, very important. People don't know the difference between a state university and a federal university. I've seen someone that gained full merit admission into a state university, but the school fees, she couldn't go. Her parents could not provide it. The cost for state university is quite high than a federal university. You know, federal universities are being subsidized by the federal government. So please, if you know your parents are not financial, financially buoyant, please choose a federal university and consider federal university under your catchment area. You know, your states, consider your states. You are in Bonu, don't come to uni, uh, University of Lagos because your cutoff mark will be high. <laughs> and if you don't really study well, you won't get admission. But if you go to, you know, university in Medjugorje, definitely your cutoff mark is low and it will serve you. You will just immediately gain admission. Are you getting my point? So also choosing universities on quality. You know, some say, oh, this school is best in medicine. This is best in that. You know, to know which school is best and uh, or good. It, one thing I one thing I always, you know, soon as I always, soon as I ask me, ah, is this school good in engineering? Is this school good? Check online. Google, Google engineering in um, social school. It will show you articles. If you see a school that there are a lot of articles being uh, posted by a particular uh, department in university about their inventions, you know, their uh, symposium, you know, their research, then you know that that school, that department is quite active and the quality would be high. Okay? So that's one way to check quality of, uh, you know, of a course in a school. Okay, so uh, I've explained all this catchment cost, the difference between a state university and a federal university, it is cost. Cost, a federal university, let's say somewhere like Unilag, I think the school fees per uh, term is like 20000 or 30000 I don't know if it's even up to that. But a state university like Lagos State, Lasso, is 250000 naira. So talk less of some other state schools. So please, you know, as you are filling your jam form, consider your parents' pockets also. Okay? Now, seven says, wrong subject combination, of course, please, please, very important. Check your subject combination. On the jam CBT app, that school finder would help you. Okay? Like for, and also why combination, like for uh, some schools, especially in Unilag, if you are entering the engineering department, you must do further maths in your YEC. You must have a C in your further maths. If not, even if you score 400 in your jam, there's no further maths in your YEC, Unilag will not give you admission. So check all this subject combination. And the best way to check subject combination is to go to the school department, you know, I see, or even call the school, go to the website, call the school. Sometimes the information might not be on school's website. You know, sometimes school, um, all these subject combination, they'll say uh, math and English and three others. I, I feel it's quite a poor way to put those kind of, um, it's, quite, it's quite poor. In particular, and you will notice that some schools, they demand some particular subject. Those or three others or two others. They demand particular subject. So if you don't do it, they won't give you admission. So why not the school or the department state it and it's published on their website? That's what pains me, actually. But a way to know it is going to the school, going to the department itself and asking them, please, what is subject combination of this course? And definitely the secretary there will tell you, don't be afraid. Don't think, you know, some of, some, some of us think in Nigeria we have to pay everything. No. These people are being paid by the federal government. They are there for you to serve you. I'm not saying go there and be rude and say the federal government is paying you. No. Be polite. Ma, please, I'm confused about this. But I, you know, going to the school, locate the faculty, faculty of engineering. When you get to the faculty of engineering, they look for your course, your department. 
Okay, engineering might have metallic, uh, metallurgy and ma materials. We we'll have computer engineering, chemical engineering. Then go to that your department. Go to the secretary, the the secretariat of that department, and ask, and they will tell you if you are confused about the right um subject combination and it will be given to you or you can just ask the hundred level students that already um gain admission please what subject combination did you feel please make sure you ensure you know online on the brunch brochure i don't like that uh maths and and uh english and maths and two others if you are confused on that two others please Go to the school, ask, or ask if you know any 100 level school uh, students in the school of your choice, ask them. All right, that is a sure way to confirm your subject combination and your course of study. I think I've covered everything. So this is all about, don't be scared about jam registration. Any other question you have for me, feel free, drop it in the, the video description box of this video. And don't forget that you are destined to win. Okay, several students, you know, have come to me saying, oh, they've gained admission last year. You are destined to win. You see, you will not only score high in this exam, but you would gain admission into your school of choice in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to drop in the comment section, say, I am destined to win in the forthcoming JAM 2023 exam, which is in April. Okay, and we pray for peaceful elections in this country we pray for peace in nigeria unity we pray for progress in nigeria during this election in jesus name we pray amen so thank you um if there's any other information that i'll pass going to pass through i would definitely join the groups please join the groups we have the whatsapp group i'll leave the link the link to the 30 days um timetable challenge that covers everything on your syllabus for at commercial and your science drop you know email i'm going to send it to you and make sure you get the dtw tutorials app it's not just for jam there's also for wayek there's also for uh your nce um that's for common entrance half kids uh siblings writing common entrance or junior wayek tell them about the app get it to support us get it to support us okay thank you thank you and um is there anything i'm missing any other information, I will do a live stream to send to you, okay? If I, if you have any questions about the registration, just feel free to drop. I will try to make sure, especially this video, answer all your questions because I know a lot of you have problems about registration. I will try to answer all your questions on the comment section. Uh, thank you. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way. He's the truth and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead you to heaven at last and give you that life. You see, that heaven on earth, he will give you here and give you peace, success, love, joy, and progress in life. Thank you and see you in our next video.